Keyboard Basics. This photo shows the notes and placement on a keyboard. Let's try a few chords out ourselves. These three notes, when played together, is a C major chord. Diatonic refers to notes which belong in a given key. Diatonic triads are the chords which will occur naturally where all the notes used belong to the same key, which in fact, in this case, is the C major. This is a C major diatonic scale. scale of C major using chords. This is what it would sound like otherwise, starting at C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. This is what it looks like as music notation. Note there are no sharps or flats in this scale. The C major chord can be played different ways. These are known as inversions. When playing the C major chord, you have the rest position, then you have the first inversion, which is E, G, and um, upper octave C. All played together is the first inversion. And then second inversion is G, C, E. All played together is the second inversion for C major chord. This is how you play in A minor chord. A, C, E. All together is A minor. This is how you play a D minor chord. D, F, A, D minor chord. Let's experiment with C major, A minor, D minor chords and notes. experiment with a baraphone. Now let's experiment with the violin one on the keyboard. different sounds are called timbres. Timbres refer to a tone's colour and quality. It is what differentiates or distinguishes two sounds of the same frequency. For instance, a guitar does not sound the same as a piano, and a piano does not sound the same as a flute, and a flute does not sound the same as a violin. These instruments must have different timbres. Abstract music is all about experimenting. When I was experimenting with the different timbres and different notes, I was playing abstract music. Abstract music is non-representational. 
which means it's not really about anything. Let's experiment further by putting different timbres together to create our own song. You can do this in groups of three, where each person is playing different notes that are on a different timbre on their keyboard. Go experiment with different timbres on your keyboard. Experiment with different notes and chords and see what music you can make, what abstract music you can make.